This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the market wrap for March 27th, 2007. In the news today, consumer confidence dropped more than expected in March, sending the widely watched index to its lowest level since November as shoppers became anxious about a run up in gasoline prices and stock market tr turbulence. The Consumer Conference Board said that its Consumer Confidence Index fell to 107.2, down from the revised 111.2 in February. Analysts had expected a reading of 109. Prices of single-family homes rose across the nation, I'm sorry, depreciated across the nation compared to January a year ago, the worst results in more than 13 years. The S&P Case Schiller Composite Index showed a drop of 0.7% from a year ago in the price of a single-family home based on existing homes tracked over time in 10 metropolitan markets. Growth hasn't been that slow since January 1994. Sandra Brownstein, the director of the Fed's Division of Consumer and Community Affairs, said the Federal Reserve is concerned that borrowers of subprime mortgage loans may face more difficulty in the next one to two years. In particular, those borrowers with a recently originated adjustable rate mortgages are likely to experience more delinquencies and foreclosures. Stocks in the news today, Best Buy Company said it agreed to buy Speakeasy Inc., a provider of broadband, voice, and data service for $97 million. Speakeasy, which generated $80 million in revenue last year, will become part of Best Buy's division that provides information technology service to small businesses, Best Buy for small businesses. Delta Airlines Inc. expects to emerge from bankruptcy April 30th with an eye on returning to profitability, improving customer service, and selling more assets to build shareholder value. Delta is expected to announce later this week who will serve on its post-bankruptcy board of directors. The first round of bids for the Chrysler unit of Daimler Chrysler may be submitted days and according to newspaper reports out of Detroit and Frankfurt, Detroit News reported that bids for Chrysler are due by as early as Thursday. German News reports carried a similar story saying that bids may be submitted by the end of the week. In earnings news, Lenore Corp, one of the nation's largest home builders, said its first quarter profit tumbled 73% on continued softness in the housing market and warned it doesn't expect to meet 2007 earning guidance. Net income for the quarter ending February 28th fell to $68.6 .6 million, or 43 cents per share, from $258.1 million or 158 per share in the previous year's period. The results were in line with analyst expectations. Scheduled economic reports for Wednesday include durable goods for the month of February and the Energy Department all inventories for the week of March the 21st, 23rd. Scheduled earnings report for Wednesday, paychecks, rec stores, Lynn Energy, Sonic Corp, Checkpoint Systems, and Fuel System Solutions. This has been the Market Wrap for March 27th, 2007.